Hi guys, the Nutritarian in La La Land here. I just came back from the Health and Wellness Center in Pahrump and I did my uh, class. Is there enough light in here? It doesn't seem like there's enough light, but oh well. And I made some energy balls for uh, a small audience. And uh, I made peanut butter cookie and Fig Newton energy balls. Well, my dumb butt <laughs> didn't have enough dates to make all of the energy balls. So I promised the ladies I would do it on my YouTube channel so they can see me make the other ones. They didn't get to taste them, but they at least get to see how to make the recipe. Oh, I have to clean it. Okay. Well, I'm going to put some gloves on because I'm going to be rolling them and they're sticky. <laughs> so this time I'm going to be making the rest of the ones, which were the really good ones. I should have did the peanut butter and the chocolate one. That would have been funner, but because I didn't have enough dates, I couldn't do another recipe with dates, so I did the fig one. Okay. But I'm going to do the brownie one right now, and then I'll do the coconut cream after that. How's that? Okay. We're going to use a cup and a half of dates um, pitted dates, no added sugar. I put three cups of dates in here because one and a half and one and a half. It's enough for two recipes. Okay, make sure I have enough. Okay, there's one cup. Put in your food processor. Here's a half, one and a half. Oopsie. You guys use Medjool dates. They're kind of expensive, so I gotta go for the, uh, what is it? Sunsweet. I use Sunsweet. It's a good price, and the dates are smaller because if you want a, you know, a smaller recipe. Ooh, stuck to my finger. <laughs> there we go, one and a half cups of dates. Then we're gonna do a half a cup of Walnuts. Oopsie, I dropped some. Half a cup of walnuts. Okay. And we're going to have some unsweetened cocoa powder. Ooh, that's a lot. A half a cup. Pardon me. Nose itches. Half a cup of unsweetened cocoa. Woo! Making a mess. Always making a mess. This is going to be really cut chocolatey. Whoopsie. Come on, get in there. Ha! Trying to make it even. Whoa, see, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, guys, don't make a mess like this in your house. <laughs> you can if you want. Half a cup of unsweetened cocoa all over the place. Oh, I got a rag. Okay. Then we're going to put vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla. Oopsie. You know what? We'll just have to deal with that later. Oh, my low word. Okay, that's a little better. Yeah. I just didn't want to sit there and stare at a mess. <laughs> Even if I could do it later, I just didn't want to stare at it. Anyway. A teaspoon. Yes, a teaspoon. A teaspoon of vanilla. I use pure vanilla, no fake. I wish, um, one of these days I'm going to try to order, um, you have to order on the internet because I don't get much stuff in Pahrump, the uh, powdered vanilla, which is real vanilla, but it's powdered, no alcohol in it. It's kind of better for you, but it's whatever floats your boat. Okay, we're going to, oops, wrong, i got to put it, oh, here it is. Then we're going to uh, pulsate it in your, um, Food processor until it's uh, combined in crumbs. This one is called chocolate brownie. Oh my goodness, it's very powdery. Let me try to. Very crummy. Crummy. 
normally. Okay. Here we go. Wow, looks like uh, cookie crumbs. Oopsie. Walnut didn't complete. I hate that. This machine is not top of the line. <laughs> Let me get something, oh, like a plate to put them on. Oh, wrong one. Play here. What you're gonna do is maybe use a spatula and get a certain amount and you're gonna use pressure and squish it into a ball. I didn't roll the Vig Newton ones because they're so dry they fell apart but if you do it there you go see the chocolate brownie ball and I'll have my husband try it on camera so you guys know how it tastes <laughs> you got a clean shirt on put a clean shirt on <laughs> he volunteers at the food bank and kind of gets messed up so <laughs> just trying to be presentable you know we're on camera there we go, another one. He'll like these, because he loves chocolate. My Cody does too. I'm just gonna grab up my hand. I got gloves on. I'd say if you have a little, uh, no, no, scooper wouldn't work, because unless it was wet, you know, but it's not until you, scr uh, you grab it and you squish it together. Make sure I don't grab the, the blade and cut my finger. Dang. Oh, poo. Should get a spoon. Yeah, I need a spoon. Okay, I'm over here. <laughs> this is my husband, Mike. Hello, yeah. everyone. He's going to try a brownie bite. Just squish it. You want that one? Oh, okay, it don't matter. You know, this tastes like a regular brownie. Okay, see? Yummy, yummy, yummy. It came out good, guys. <laughs> Should make it at home. I'm going to uh, roll these up. I'm going to pause the video, roll these up, and then start the, the coconut cream one. See you in a minute. Watch my pause. I'm. Pause. Okay, no talking. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. I was gonna say it's a nutritarian in La La La. I forgot it. I already said that. <laughs> okay, this time we're making the coconut cream. So we're gonna do again one and a half cups of dates. I already measured these. Okay. And then we got a cup of walnuts. You can use almonds or cashews if you want. I like almonds with desserts. I'm gonna eat almonds, walnuts. <laughs> Hello. Okay, hopefully I can fit it all in there. And then a cup of unsweetened cocoa. I'm gonna get a, uh, what do you call it? Scissor. Is a scissor? Oh, here we go. Scissors. Whoopsie. Okay. A cup of unsweetened coconut. Shaved coconut, whatever. You want you don't want the toasted, you want it to be like, you know, the raw kind. Wow. Lots of ingredients. And then vanilla, of course. Where's my spoon? Okay. A teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Put it on top. Soak into the coconut. Yeah. That's good. Okay. It's gonna be loud. Because this is, a lot of these, the only one that wasn't like really dry was the peanut butter. 
that I made at the wellness center. I need a towel. <laughs> I don't want it to stick to the roof of the machine. I just cleaned it. Okay. Let's put it there. Okay. Then you pulse it in your food processor. You might have to stop to grab some of the stuff that gets stuck on top. Yeah. This, this little crevice that's around the edge of my processor keeps stealing things from my recipe. How dare he? No, I'm just kidding. Oh my lord. Okay. It'll probably do it again, but I just want it to... It looks like snow. Woo! Can you see it? Look. and try it in front of you for it, so you guys know how it tastes. Hold on, let me make one first. I'm gonna make one. It's a coconut cream ball. Hello again. <laughs> you guys see them? Okay, try this one. Tell me how it tastes, it's gonna come apart, so. Very good. Thumbs up to, from very Mike. Good. Very, very good. Yummy, yummy. I hope you guys get to make this recipe at home. It's super easy. All these um, energy balls that I made are super easy. Easy? <laughs> super easy and uh, affordable. Because I, I, you know, I don't do the fancy ingredients. For one thing, I live in Pahrump and we don't have fancy. Plus, I am on a budget. So... I'm going to put them on the plate like this. So these would be good for parties or for maybe even a Christmas gift. I like homemade Christmas gifts. And you know what? This is not rabbit food. A lot of people eat this stuff in their desserts. So, these are great to give to your loved ones in a cookie tin. How's that? I think that'll be wonderful. It'll be great. There they are. See? These were made, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, a dozen. It makes a dozen balls, each recipe. I use, I'm using a, a little tablespoon measuring thing, and that's a good size for your ball, unless you want a bigger or smaller, whatever, it's your choice. I'm going to be at the Health and Wellness Center in Pahrump. On Thursday, we're going to do the brownies like I did on my YouTube channel. And uh, I think she wants me to give her like <clears throat> a menu for the month of what am I going to do. I think after that one, I'll do my tofu scramble. That's a good one. A lot of people are intimidated by tofu. And or they think it's not, they don't, it don't taste good or whatever. And I'm going to prove them wrong. I'm going to make it and they'll love it. I know it. I just know it. I'm not going to sit here and roll the balls the whole time on the video. I just want you guys to see how they're made and how easy they are. You can have these as a quick morning on the go, you know, breakfast maybe. Or uh, for your kids, you know, if they're, uh, they're, they do sports and after, after the sports they can have something like this because it's a lot of protein and uh, healthy carbs. Whatever your choice is, but they're a good idea. They're healthy and they're delicious, and I hope you get to make them. Um, guys, if you like me, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you got a, a question, I answer the, all the questions you need. And I'll see you next time. Bye.